Hi everybody, so I am going to run us through what positive behavior intervention and support looks like in the Canyons Online 9 through 12 setting. Uh, spoiler alert, it does not include the PBIS Rewards app because our students are not in that because of how many there are and they're uh, coming in and out and so forth. So, quick science uh, physics refresher for everybody. Newton's laws of motion. Number one, object at rest remains at rest. Object in motion remains in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Two, acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force replied. F equals MA. Number three, whenever one object exerts a force on another, the second object's object exerts an equal and opposite on the first. Now, you're wondering, River, have you lost your mind? Why? Why are you telling us about physics? Well, I am going to tell you why I'm telling you about physics. Because behavior follows the laws of motion. Don't believe me? Watch. An object, student engagement, at rest, remains at rest. So if somebody's not doing anything, they're going to continue not doing anything. An object in motion remains in motion. If a, somebody is uh, really engaging in their classes and get everything done, they're going to continue doing that unless acted upon by an outside force. That could be something that happens in their life. That could be um, that they get off track a little bit. Just some, something from the outside can interfere to either get somebody going or make somebody stop. So first law works. I just proved it. You can't disprove it. The end. Second, the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object, so how long the behavior has been going on. So if somebody has been not doing anything for, I don't know, say like two and a half years, that's going to be very difficult to get that particular object um, going because that would be considered a lot of mass and the amount of force applied motivation. Now, sometimes that can be coming from parents, like you can't uh, get a car unless you get up to speed in your classes or that can be internal motivation, or in this case, positive behavior intervention and support. That is our outside motivation as the magnificent educators that we are, helping to encourage students to move. So, proved, point two, in effect. Law three, whenever one object, us, exerts a force on another object, the student, that student exerts an equal and opposite force on us. Sometimes that's like, dear teacher, um, get off my back. Or sometimes it is, um, they, they resist or whatever, you know, to the equal amount that we put in. That's why the positive behavior supports are really helpful because it's through relationship with the students, through them trusting us, we can help them get, get going in the right direction from the inside. And I am going to use, you guessed it, four-wheel drive to help explain uh, a little bit more in depth and give some examples. Okay, let's imagine, if you will, um, a student's motivation as either a manual transmission or an automatic transmission. A manual transmission um, is superior in my particular uh, way of seeing things, but a manual transmission, you, you have to uh, select which gear to be in and then manually move that. Automatic transmission, you put it in, you know, your little prindle there and it will take you in the direction you need to go on its own, kind of. Some of our students have that manual transmission as, a, as their brain where they need a little bit more deliberate, um, you know, going from one level of speed to another. In some, it's a little bit more automatic. Okay, so people who have an easier time getting going and shifting from like um, beginning a project and then continuing it and then submitting it and then uh, completing a feedback cycle, that would be more of an automatic transmission. And somebody who has a little bit more um, deliberate intentional about that would be a, a more of a manual transmission type situation. Okay, here is our uh, high speed manual transmission here. 
So let's look at um, the gear that you need to be in depends on how fast you are already going. If you are not moving, so no work completion, you need to be in first gear. First gear would be like the um, a certain level of, of positive behavior interventions or a really what we would in the psychology world call a really rich uh, reinforcement schedule where uh, students are being praised frequently or they're being uh, awarded points frequently or something just to get them going and like any kind of engagement would be rewarded if they're at nothing you know going from 0 to 20 that's like first gear okay now if they're already going a little bit you know 20 to 30 miles an hour worth of engagement um, then you would re um, reward a little bit less rich schedule you know you 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 don't reward somebody for like showing up when they already show up you would look at something different to to help them get going so that they can shift into third gear third gear would be like for 30 40 miles an hour okay same thing for third get into fourth okay fourth gear i would consider kind of self-directed they they are doing the basics on their own pretty consistently they're getting you know they're getting c's and they can get some b's and stuff okay so they're at that level you reinforce a little bit differently than if they're at zero um, once they're starting to be pretty successful like um, a's and b's on their own i would consider that like fifth gear 50 60 they don't really need much reward um, and then for people who are really accelerated, advanced, I would call, call those people going like freeway speed. Um, they don't really need much from us because they are being successful and that success is reinforcing for them because then they kind of get to see the reward, the benefit of this great thing that we call Canyons Online because then they can be like, have all of the freedom and have all of the success and have all of the, the uh, reinforcement that comes from that. So, there you go. All right, graphic time. Okay, another thing that can impact, so we already we just barely talked about how like the speed that a student is already going impacts what gear they need to be in. Another thing that can impact is the, the terrain or the environment that they are currently in. So let's say a student is already on track for graduation. Okay, that's the yellow Jeep here. They're already on track for graduation, level ground, super easy going. Um, they don't need much. In the, They can be at a high speed and a high gear, not really big of a challenge, okay? The student's a little bit behind pace, a little bit off track for graduation. That's like the, the, the red Jeep with a little bit of rocks. Um, so you're going to probably be, you know, first or second gear for a little bit just till you clear the rocks and you'll get out in the open and you'll be fine. All right. Now, some of our students <coughs> are going to be like this uh, black Rubicon on the right side. You know, in order to get over their obstacles, they're going to have aired down tires. They're going to have their lockers locked. They're going to be in four low. They're going to be in first or second gear. They're going to be, it's going to look painstakingly slow to us from the outside. To them on the inside, because they're driving, we're not they are doing a heck of a lot of work to be getting through what looks really simple for us okay and i am going to demonstrate that right here we are the spotter and not the driver we're on the outside of their truck they are on the inside we see the obstacles that they don't see but we also see the path through the obstacles we can see where they need to put their tires we can see you know uh, what gear they probably need to be in we can point things out we can tell them when they're getting there so that is kind of what our role is using my fantastic four-wheel drive analogy here okay the way i see pbis is student encouragement through meaningful relationship so there are four steps in that. Identify the student behaviors that will help them succeed in your classes. Communicate what those behaviors are. And teach students the why behind um, those success behaviors and why they're so critical. Three would be watch for those behaviors 
And four is recognize those successes in ways that are meaningful to the students. That can be the challenging thing, ways that are meaningful for the students. So let's go through these items one at a time. On this slide, I would like you to really think um, what student behaviors will help students succeed in your class. And the specific behaviors really depend on what gear your student is already in, how fast they're already moving. For somebody who's really self-directed and they're advanced, they're in sixth gear, they're flying through, they don't need much from you. Their success behaviors would be continue doing what you're doing. But for somebody who is first gear, you know, not, not getting much done, that's going to look a lot. You know, that first behavior to teach could be access your class every day, complete half an hour worth of work, whatever it is. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to really think about the student behaviors that will help them succeed in your specific class. And that's like our engagement policy, a lot of the must do's, but they can, they, they, um, in the PBIS way of seeing things, it's a little bit um, more, more flexible, more fluid, because you're, <coughs> you're trying to direct, you know, an entire Easter Jeep safari through this really, really challenging uh, trail, all at the same time, uh, in the middle of the night, with sunglasses on so good luck with that all right number two communicate what those behaviors are and teach them why they're critical this could be through through email this could be through asynchronous lessons this could be through uh, zoom meetings with them this could be in any way that you can really teach them this could be modules that you work through you know i don't i don't know um how you guys are, are working out all of that with with Chandra and Camille and everything, but but um, definitely find ways to teach them the behaviors that will help them succeed, so that you can <coughs> excuse me, so that you can watch for those success behaviors, catch them being good, catch them doing the right thing, and. Because you know, like uh, we call it caught being good when I was in elementary school, I still remember that. You know, being caught doing the right thing, and then this can be the most challenging part, especially for high school students. Recognize the success in ways that are meaningful to them. Many of our high, uh, middle school teachers are noticing that the things that their students want most, they don't want the BTS stickers or the anime stickers or all the stuff that I got for them that's cool in our store. What they want is a positive note home from their teacher or a positive call home from their teacher or they want positive attention. Okay. So the key is finding things that are meaningful for the particular students. Um, I have also been talking with Chandra about ways that we can get some um, more expensive items that would be uh, useful for our kids and then you'd be um, keeping track of their positive behaviors and we could enter them into like a raffle for a larger reward. Um, at this time we don't have the PBIS rewards app uh, available for the high school students so that would be more of we'll have to find a way to keep track of points for different students so they can be entered into those raffles and get rewards for those bigger items. And we'll have to like approach the, the foundation or use some of our legislative money or something to be able to get that money or to be able to get those items. And I have not quite worked that out yet, so we will uh, be working that out. Okay, so in a nutshell, quick... 15 minute PD lesson. This is how to do positive behavior intervention and support in the Canyons online program. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, and thank you. Have a nice day.